All right, hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and welcome to my camera comparison between the Huawei P40 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Now I'm shooting this intro bit with the rear cameras at 4K30, and I'm also switching between the little speaker icon below so you can tell which microphone I'm using. So hopefully you can get an idea of the audio quality and also the video quality. Now these two are direct competitors. They both cost about 900 pounds. They both have quad camera setups. And while they're not the flagship phones, we also have the S20 Ultra and the P40 Pro Plus. But I reckon these two are gonna be the most popular models and I think they offer the best value for money. And as always, I'm gonna give you my opinion throughout. But then at the end of the video, I want you guys to vote in the poll at the top right and let me know which one you think wins and also let me know why in the comments below. Now in this example, what stands out for me, the S20 Plus seems to be just a little bit over sharpened. Uh, some people may prefer that, but I kind of like the more natural look of the P40. But just look at the color difference in the sky. It's blue on the S20 versus, well, gray and kind of blown out actually on the P40. I think the S20 handles the dynamic range of those bright highlights in the clouds a little bit better. The other thing to know is the S20's ultra wide lens does have a wider field of view than the P40, so you are getting more in the frame. But how do they compare when it comes to focusing? Well, let's get right up to uh, this Blue Yeti microphone and then pan across and then back. But what about stabilization if you're doing something a bit more active, like going for a quick jog? Uh, just to note that I am by myself here, I'm social distancing, and this was uh, part of my exercise for the day. Uh, but you can see the S20 with its super steady mode, uh, while it's at 1080p, is much more stable than the P40 Pro. Again, that's also at 1080p here, but it only uses its AIS and OIS. It doesn't have any dedicated super steady or ultra steady mode. But I think one area the P40 Pro kicks the Samsung's butt is in slow motion. Now this is at 960 FPS on both, super slow motion, or the P40 Pro, as you can see, is much higher quality. It's actually 1080p versus 720p on the S20 Plus. But that's not all, because the P40 Pro can actually record in up to 7,680 FPS. What that means is one second of real time becomes 256 seconds of slow motion. Now this is only at 720p and technically it's actually interpolating up from 1920 FPS. So while the quality isn't fantastic, it is a unique feature to the Huawei. And if you time it right, you can get some pretty cool effects. Moving on to photos, and this is taken with the ultra wide lens. And while the P40's shot is brighter with better dynamic range, it's nowhere near as wide as the S20. Then onto the main lens and the photos are more comparable, although you can see a big difference in brightness and vibrancy. Onto the telephoto lens, where we get a five times optical zoom on the P40 Pro and three times on the S20 Plus, and finally 10 times hybrid zoom on both. And I think the P40 is the clear winner here as it's much sharper and more detailed at the full zoom. Here's another example, first with the ultra wide, then the main lens, then five times and three times zoom respectively, and finally 10 times. And you can see the sign, the window behind it, it's much higher quality on the P40. On the one hand, the P40 does handle color accuracy better. If you look at the petals, yes, it's a fake flower, um, and also the tabletop, it's much more true to life. The Samsung, again, is definitely sharper. It seems that the S20's done a much better job here, especially in the background. You can see the window is much more evenly exposed. If we zoom in by 300%, the S20 is also much more detailed here. Now, both photos look great here, but you can see that consistent oversaturation of colors on the S20+. Plus. Now, I don't mind that, but you could argue it's better to have a more natural photo than edit and up the saturation yourself afterwards if you want. Cropping in by 300%, the S20 is certainly sharper and there's more fine detail. You can even make out the texture on the label. Now, here's a totally natural and definitely not posed photo of me, but there's a striking difference between the colors, the detail, the brightness, but overall, I think the P40 is superior here. And the S20's higher contrast means we do lose some information in the darker areas, particularly on my shirt and around my right eye. Okay, let's switch to some low light shots. And this is using just the regular photo mode, not night mode. And even without the longer exposure of night mode, the P40's is much brighter and more evenly exposed. Just look at the side table and the lamp on the desk. Now sometimes, where it is low light but not too dark, night mode only has a minor effect. It is best used in super low light. So here it's almost pitch black in my living room except for the RGB fans and my PC in the background. This is a normal photo, and then this is with night mode, which makes a huge difference to the S20+. Although, looking at the detail on the plant and the dog, I think the P40 does come out on top. 
Now this is just a regular photo, but the thing is, even if you switch to the S20's dedicated night mode, if it doesn't deem it dark enough, it still won't give you a longer exposure and so there's no difference in photos. Back to me again, and I really do like the S20's wider field of view, but overall the P40 is sharper, I think it's handled the bright LED light behind the desk a bit better, and while neither photo looks great, I think the Huawei's is a bit better. I absolutely promise you, I have zero bias, this is not sponsored, I'm just looking at the photos side by side and giving you my subjective opinion. But the P40 again clearly wins here with this low light portrait shot. But what about low light selfies? Well, they've both done a pretty good job here given the lighting conditions, and the S20 is definitely sharper and more detailed, but at the expense of some noise. As for portrait selfies, while the angle of the photo isn't identical, you can see the P40's edge detection missed a little bit of spire on the building behind my head, although it is a similar colour to my hair. Okay, last photo of me, I promise, and conversely, I think the S20 selfie actually has got the colours right here. The P40 is brighter, and actually it's a little bit reminiscent of the iPhone's HDR, which tends to brighten and also flatten everything a little bit, but I think it still looks better overall. But what about selfie video? Because one of the big upgrades this year on the P40 Pro is the ability to shoot in up to 4K60 with the selfie camera. Previously, even on the Mate 30 Pro, we were limited to just 1080p, so that's a real big upgrade uh, for the Huawei, although Samsung phones have been doing it for a couple of years now. Uh, I'm shooting this at 4K30, and just walking around, changing the light conditions. But what do you reckon? How do they compare? Just looking at the uh, screens, it does look like the Samsung has a wider field of view. There's definitely a little bit more in the scene, and it seems to cope a bit better with the lighting. Obviously, it's quite backlit there, but just looking at the Huawei, it's very dark. But what do you reckon? Which one takes better selfie video? One of the Samsung's unique features is live focus video. You can do it on the front or rear camera, uh, but it gives you that sort of blurred bokeh effect behind me, which doesn't always work. The edge detection isn't sometimes the best, but it's a nice extra feature to have and something you may want to use. Now, one thing the S20 Plus can do, which the Huawei can't, is shoot in full 8K resolution. Now, I don't know how often you're gonna to wanna to do this yourself. It's only at 24 frames per second. The stabilization isn't as good. And of course you get huge file sizes, but there are some advantages like you could pull a 33 megapixel still from it. Uh, if you do have a fancy 8K TV, which I don't, uh, you could stream it natively to that and watch it in high quality. Now we also get single take mode on the S20, which over 10 seconds takes a bunch of photos, videos, boomerangs, and then gives you all the options afterwards. It is kind of fun actually, but I don't think it's something I'd personally use that often. Now in the Huawei camp, we get a few special features as well, including the reflection removal tool. Once you take a photo in the gallery, tap edit and remove reflection. It doesn't do a perfect job, but it's definitely an improvement and I can see it being useful for, say, taking photos out of an airplane window, whenever we're allowed to fly again, that is. There's also a remove passerby option, which actually I struggle to get to work. You need to enable live photos and then the option will come up in the gallery edit, but it just wouldn't detect passersby in my photos. But then my good friend Michael Josh from Gadget Match saved the day and sent over an example which did work for him. So you get the idea. And finally, we have dual video, where the P40 can record with the main and ultra wide lenses at the same time. It's limited to 1080p and quality doesn't seem to be as good as if it were shot individually, but it's a feature nonetheless. Overall then, which phone do you think came out on top? I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below. However, one factor could be that I'm using the Exynos version of the S20 Plus. I have found the Snapdragon to offer better image quality. Thank you so much for watching, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time right here on the Tech Chat.